My name is Edward Brooke Hitching. I'm the author of a book called Fox Tossing, which is a collection of the weirdest, most dangerous sports in history that have since been forgotten about. I was really interested to find out how our ancestors entertained themselves before the time of cinema and television and everything that we have. And I was reading an 18th century German book on hunting when a bizarre illustration leapt out that showed German aristocrats catapulting foxes into the air, fox tossing. And it was played by mixed couples. It was the height of sophistication. And each pair would uh, hold the end of a long strip of cloth. And then a whole load of forest animals would be released into the arena. And the moment an animal stepped onto the cloth on the ground, the couple would yank it toward and send the animal catapulting up into the uh, sky. So this was the kind of thing that I was looking for. Anything surprising, anything that makes uh, you burst out laughing in a library. There are about a hundred or so sports in the book, but I, I do have my favourites. Um, well, the story behind baseball with cannon is uh, particularly interesting. That was the invention of Charles Howard Hinton, who was a 19th century uh, mathematician at Princeton, but also invented the first uh, baseball pitching machine. Uh, but it never really took off because it shot the ball at the batters. He used gunpowder. Something equally as dangerous was balloon jumping, which was popular in the 1920s in England and America, in which people thought it was a terrific idea to strap a hot air balloon to their backs uh, and leap into a strong wind, the idea being that they would bound across the landscape like a lunar explorer. Um, but the reality, of course, was that they uh, frequently died. The one that I really uh, enjoyed researching was firework boxing. They fitted uh, fireworks to their bodies, lit them, and the men were forced to spar like boxers. And there's also punt gunning, which is when people went bird hunting with these monstrous eight-foot-long shotguns that just obliterated everything. Uh, there's dueling with wax bullets, which is only slightly less dangerous than dueling with pistols. The invention of the Dinosphere, which was created after World War I, but looks like something from World War III. Uh, and there's Dwarf Lunking as well, which is a really strange one. A British game, basically speed drinking. Players would hit each other in the face with beer-soaked rags while dancing to accordion music. Well, hopefully what the reader gets from it is a, maybe a new appreciation for just how, how funny, how imaginative, and at times how completely mad our ancestors were. Thank you.